what do you think of this fracture in terms of, you know, prognosis, management? Let's say you're meeting her and the family in the emergency room. What are your thoughts? Yeah, thank you. Um, can I just remind myself, how old is she now? No, no, she was 10 when she injured Yes. herself and 14 when she presented to me. Yeah, Very thanks. good. Um, yeah, so she's got a Solder Harris II fracture of her distal femur. Um, sometimes they can be very widely displaced. And this one would be um, maybe not minimally displaced. I think on the on the frontal plane, on the front view, it's taken with a flex knee. And so it's probably hard to truly see what the displacement is on that AP view. And I think we're seeing a relatively foreshortened image there through the distal femur. And I think if we got a true AP, uh, we would see the displacement more. So I think in the emergency department, it would be helpful to actually for the radiology technician to actually get a true AP of the knee and we could see the true displacement. Um, and that would also be helpful for just understanding um, regarding operative management and the type of fixation. Um, I think here it looks like the Thurston Holland fragment is large enough where um, I, I would ideally use um, partially threaded uh, cancellar screws, which would run parallel to the physis if that fragment was large enough. Uh, I think this view, it's hard to know for sure. And if I had any doubt, I'd get some three-dimensional imaging. Um, but overall, in a 10-year-old child, really trying to get an anatomical reduction of that physis. It's an injury that, uh, that we know for the Salter-Harris twos. It has... I don't know. I do think it's as much as 50% risk of growth arrest, but certainly it's somewhere between 30 and 45%. And so very significant. And we know that it, the risk of that is probably higher in the higher displacement and the higher energy injuries, um, and also related to how good our, our reduction is. So I'd really be trying to get for an anatomical reduction. If the Thurston Holland fragment was large enough, I'd go parallel screws across the vice is probably going from lateral to medial. I think lateral is good because you can see how large that fragment is. and You don't want to break it. Um, and um, and then I would be immobilizing in a cast, but definitely a really um, uh, clear conversation with the family of just that risk of physial arrest. Um, and in this case, it, it drifting into valgus would be more likely given that fracture configuration.